and today we'll be discussing uh, one of the most common causes of shoulder pain which is called as a suprascapular nerve entrapment. So before that it is, it's a good idea to understand what the shoulder is, what is the anatomy of the shoulder and then I can tell you so what exactly is this particular condition and how does this present. So now the shoulder is basically at the ball socket joint so we have a bone here called as a humerus bone and this is a humerus bone which go, it goes up and the upper part of the humerus forms a ball. This ball sits inside the socket. This socket is part of a bigger bone called as the scapula or the shoulder blade which sits behind the shoulder and this is also connected to the collarbone or the clavicle. So now uh, one of the main nerves which supply the shoulder is called as the suprascapular nerve. So the suprascapular nerve arises from a network of nerves in this axilla or the upper shoulder area called as the brachial plexus. So the brachial plexus is a mesh or a network of nerves which comes from the neck again, that is cervical spine. And out of this brachial plexus, there is something called as an upper trunk. So this is the upper trunk of the brachial plexus from which you can see the blue color what I have drawn down is called as a suprascapular nerve. The suprascapular nerve comes like this and enters the shoulder that is the bony part of the shoulder that is the scapula in a, in a small notch. So this is the notch you can see it. Small notch is a small cut, a u-shaped cut in the scapula. So it enters like this and then passes on above the socket area and this is coming above the socket area and comes down like this. So now, in the suprascapula notch, this is the, you can see it properly here, there is a, on the, so it is basically a U-shaped notch and the notch is covered on its upper side or protected on its upper side by a ligament called the suprascapular ligament, which is a black band which I have drawn. And then it comes here and it passes behind and comes here in this scapular area and at this point it supplies the supraspinatus muscle. The supraspinatus muscle is one of the main lifters of the shoulder. So the main lifting part of the lifting part of something called as a rotator cuff. Rotator cuff is a group of four muscles which help in moving the shoulder. So we have out of the rotator cuff we have a particular muscle called the subscapularis which is in the front which help in this kind of rotation. The supraspinatus help in lifting like this. The infraspinatus and the teres minor help in outward movements. So now, so what I was saying is it comes like this and enters the notch, as we can see the notch properly and supplies the supraspinatus. Then it passes on top of the socket, that is a socket is called as the glenoid in technical terms. It passes, you can see it passing over the socket area and it, in this particular area it forms another notch this notch is between uh, a, a bony process of the scapula called as the spine of the scapula. So this is the back of the body and the back of the scapula and we are looking from back. Here we can see this prominence called as the spine of the scapula which forms something called as an acromion. So this is the spine forming this acromion process. So you can also see a small notch in this area, in this particular part. This is called as a spinoglenoid notch. So what I was saying is, so it enters the suprascapular notch, supplies the suprascapular then enters the spinoglenoid notch, and then comes down and supplies the muscles in this area. The muscle in this area is called as a infraspinatus. So now there are possible, there are different possibilities where the nerve can be entrapped or injured. 